and welcome to this week's What's Hot. Today it is Tuesday, March the 24th, 2020, and it's the first official day of house arrest. And I do feel as though I should be saying something like, it's day one in the Big Brother household, but that's a different channel. Now I'm going to spend my day chitting my Maris Pipers. And yes, I did say chitting. But there was absolutely no way that I was going to follow Mike Ashley's rally and cry telling people to go to Sports Direct to pick up their allotment digging gear because his stores sold basic necessities for a population allowed out once a day to get their exercise. Now my question to you, is Mike Ashley a philanthropist, a profiteer or a retail genius. However, there was a U-turn after Cabinet Mr. Minister Michael Gove said to Mike Ashley, Come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. And so it was. Now remember, Sports Direct stock goes under the Fraser's Group ticker of F-R-A-S. Now, in terms of scheduled investor updates. The Financial Conduct Authority has given a temporary reprieve to companies and their nomads, brokers and investor relations gurus. You can delay the publication of your preliminary announcements. Well, in an interview with Total Market Solutions, Vasarian's Chief Executive and Executive Chairman Neil Ricketts had this to say. I think for some companies it may be used as an excuse, especially if they are currently really struggling, which a lot of companies are. But for us, I don't see it making a huge difference at the moment. It's quite interesting that um, we saw very little disruption from China during uh, the outbreak over there. Uh, and most of our work continued without any hiccup. But, you know, there are companies which are struggling to adapt to the changes which we've had in place for 10 years. Now, staying with Visarian, on Monday the company announced some disruptive financing with a £6 million subscription and sharing agreement with Landstead Capital Investors. Now, what has become a necessity, and this video is an example of it, is good quality video conferencing and telecommunications platforms so we can all keep an eye on what each other are doing. So telecommunication companies including BT and Vodafone have seen an uptick in their share price. Without those companies we wouldn't be benefiting from this. Turbo button, ready to go. Turbo, five, four, three, two, one. And this. And it's thanks to online communities like that that there was some cheer spread and on Monday a lot of income investors certainly needed it when they found out that 17 companies had suspended or postponed their dividend payout. Monday was known as dividend dump and some of those companies which had cancelled or postponed included Greggs, G4S, ITV, Kingfisher and Stagecoach. Now on Wednesday, preliminaries are scheduled from Moss Bros. We've already learned that the company has suspended online trading of its clothes. Also on Monday, it issued a profit warning. So is it getting rid of all its news early? The bad news. Will it also jeopardise the acquisition offer made by Bidco? Remember, early March, the company was going to be taken private with a £22.6 million offer from Brigadier Acquisition, who owns Crew Clothing. Well, has the deal been fully signed? Have all the T's been crossed? Is there a get out clause? Does anybody care? Well, yes, we do care. And follow the rules and just remember that at home, you and you alone are in charge of your own 
universe. And there, and only there, can you break the rules. Enjoy the house arrest, get creative, chip some potatoes, and then, in a couple of months' time, you can chip them. The chips are not down, they're just spinning around on an axis. See you next week. Time to